terms of damage and more mule spam and nice alliteration right there more mules mining minerals ha that was significantly higher alliteration than the first go around anyway it looks like uh oh no way these colossus gonna catch all oh, those scvs oh my god that was a massacre how many kills did they get four on that one I can't even click on the other damn one. Seven, eight, six, doesn't matter. They're all dead. Now, while there's, oh, and those Void Rays just able to take out everything in the meantime. Let's see what's being produced. Some more upgrades, by the way, in Colossus. This is going to be a real tough fight at this point. What was that? Oh, Vikings. Oh, the Vikings are coming out. I kind of like that move, actually. It's going to be good against all these units here. Uh, not so much against the Zealots or the Sentries, but you know what? They could do some damage. But you, Nazgul, uh, you know, he's had observers out on the field in various locations. So I think he's actually been doing a pretty good job of scouting stuff. Oh, my God. I missed a nuke. I'm sorry. I am not rewinding this time. But a defensive nuke going down. Once again, that's going to keep these units from coming through here. And that means that the little one going to take out the only mining expansion of Nazgul. No way. Both of these players are down really low. Nuke is uh, canceled. All right, you son of a bitch. Cancel the nuke. And uh, that means that I, I don't know if it actually gets saved or not or if you can just cancel it. I forget what happens. Uh, it, looks like, it looks like he's got no nuke, so I guess you lose it. Uh, kind of pointless. Unless it happened to go off and we missed it. But these Colossus is going to clean up all the rest of these military forces on the ground for the little one. And I gotta be honest, it is not looking good for the little one. But he does have the one thing that Terran have a huge advantage of, and that's free miners. So even if he runs out of energy, I mean, under out of money completely, but he's got orbital command centers, which, by the way, he did finally float away the main, like I was talking about earlier. He can just spam the mules, yo, and that's exactly what he's doing. And especially on these high yields, it's gonna make a huge difference. Beautiful job with the Vikings coming out just in time. These Colossus not gonna be able to back anything up, and oh, he could. I got them both killed. Why did you stop? Only sentries would be able to attack you, and they don't—they do shit for damage with their eleven paltry beams. They're like the the corsair of uh, ground units. Actually, eleven's not that bad, really. Anyway, Vikings going around. I don't know what they're scouting for, uh, but either way. Basically, the little one has just ensured that he's going to continue mining here for quite a while. And these mules are going to give him a lot of minerals. And he can either spam SCVs or just only use mules. It looks like he's got enough saturation here to mine this out with SCVs. And he's just going to keep using mules here for now with a couple of SCVs. And I like this. This is a great way to go. And there we see the detriment of uh, being a Protoss player only having Chrono Boost, I guess. Uh, if you run out of minerals, you are screwed. There is no way to get more minerals. And we can see all these gas gas is being mined out oh so a lot left here actually so he could he could actually go here and get a couple of minerals it would actually be worth it it would pay for the nexus um and he'd get a lot of gas which i think he could use at this point he certainly could but it looks like he just doesn't have the minerals to spare he's worried yeah he's not even at 400 um he's trying to get this up to mine and oh another nuke is coming down oh that is awesome and it's going to take out a pro but more importantly, it's going to stop mining from happening, and that's the real key there. Uh, and if we look at the unit currently out, he's only got 26 probes, and that means all 26 were just not mining there. However, they're back to mining, and uh, so we're going to see the incomes probably be fairly, well, well lopsided because, again, he's using mules over here, and there are no mules uh, for the Protoss player. I mean, I don't know how many times I try to explain this, but if you got mules, even if you're both maximally saturated, the mules mine over your SCVs, you get more minerals, and so obviously the benefit is to um, the Terran player with the mules if you're only on one base and you're trying to get uh, more minerals sooner. That's just how it goes. But anyway, let's uh, go back to the action over here. A lot of Colossus out on the ground. Back to Stalker. So we're seeing a ridiculous amount of unit uh, composition composition changing right here and another nuke going off and the thing is it doesn't tell you when a nuke goes off so you just got to keep checking and it looks like Nazgul on top of his stuff but he might lose a nexus he's got 500 minerals here let's see how much damage does it do oh he kills a viking of his own that's unfortunate but at the same time the colossus are going in they're trying to attack the orbital here and all the mining units but it looks like these tanks doing a great job with their ridiculous range of like 13 if i can click on one yeah, of damaging these classes, even though the classes have a huge range of nine. They're just not going to make it. You better lift that off, the little one. You do not want to forget about that. He does lift it off. There are only two classes here. If there, only, if there was even a Viking in the air, he could take it out. And whoa, what just killed that? A tank. Oh, sick. 
He got a little bit too close. There's the Viking I was talking about. Nazgul now has really fallen behind at this point. He did not want to lose those units. He should have done a hit and run back the hell out of there. And now once again, the little one showing the power of the mules. He's got six out on these mineral patches. He is not going to be behind at all and just doing a great job of continuing to attack the weakest and most important point simultaneously those two things with uh, small forces and what was that no way he gets the nexus down and takes it out Nazgul has not enough minerals I don't know if he's got anything in production that he can cancel he doesn't he has nothing to cancel and that means that Nazgul is on his last force here this has been an epic match but it looks like the little one may pull it out in the end these mules being the name of the game here as well as great counters and unit composition and uh, that Viking gonna you know, focus obviously on that Colossus I don't think the Colossus can take out every single unit here it can't this is gonna be it this is gonna be GG and the little one is gonna pull out a really awesome win very creative I think we saw every single unit that Terran can make Nazgul put up a great fight but in the end the little one with his great unit counters and compositions against that of the protest army winning out the end my god that was exciting I hope you guys enjoyed that game I just had a lot of fun watching that man it all came down to this high yield right here and uh, I, you know what I, I, I don't know what else Nazgul could have done against those ghosts other than maybe having observers placed around here and even I think he uh, even would need observers like here and here. <laughs> it's ridiculous, actually, the coverage that he would need to keep this safe. So unfortunately for him, not going to win it. Looks like he was distance mining at the end, but just the income... It's just way too slow at that point, and obviously not enough. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. GG. Uh, I'm going to continue to cast live, but I'm going to stop the YouTube recording here. Thanks for watching.